Lassie Mo Lassie, and welcome to TriCityBuzz.Television. Can you believe it? Show number three. My friend William Clay Ford of the Detroit Lions was there. Just happened to be. I call him Billy Clay. William Clay, and his henchman, Rod Marinelli, the head coach, the head coach, you may applaud if you want, the head <laughs> coach of the Detroit Lions, and I, I, O.J. Cunningham, have the exclusive interview on what's going on with those Detroit Lions who are winless as we tape this show. Hi, I'm O.J. Cunningham and I'm out here at the Jimmy Dobson Fire Truck Museum and I'm out here with Billy Clay, William Clay Ford, the owner of the Detroit Lions. Mr. Ford, how you doing? Uh, well, uh, what's your name? Uh, Cunningham? Uh, you don't call me Billy Clay either. I, uh, nobody calls me Billy Clay. Uh, my mother doesn't even call me Billy Clay. Why are you calling me Billy Clay for? <laughs> well, hey, uh, sorry to offend you. I really didn't mean to do that. But hey, how about them lines? You're 0 and 8. Uh, what do you got planned? Uh, uh, what do you mean? What do we got planned? We got, we got eight more games. Uh, uh, what do you mean we got planned? We got football. We're gonna play football every game. We're gonna have full stadiums, a lot of parking. We're gonna make a lot of money. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, doesn't it bother you that the uh, that the that the fans aren't happy about this? Uh, that they boo you? Uh, fans aren't, aren't booing me, bud. Uh, the fans are booing uh, guys like uh, Millen. Perhaps you noticed he's gone. And, you know, I wouldn't even have got this, this Dante Culpepper dude except my son, my son, Little Billy. He's, he's calling me up and he's going, hey, well, Dad, we got to do something about the football team. And I'm going, oh, well, excuse me, Mr. Ford, but, uh, you know, it's more than the money, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people... Hey, listen, young man, it's not about anything but the money. You saw what Illich did with the Tigers, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, he spent like a gajillion dollars, and, and, and what did they do? Nothing. Well, we didn't spend anything, and <laughs> we're doing nothing, too. You do the math. Uh, thanks, Mr. Ford, for being uh, so up uh, front with us. Uh, what, I got a question. Uh, Mr. Marinelli, Rodman, what's happening, dude? Hey, thanks for talking to me, man. I really love it here. I'm a good job. I love, I love Mr. Ford. I love the Lions. I love everything. I want a new contract. I need a new contract. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Really, it's all my fault. What do you mean it's all your fault, Rod? It's not all your fault. You don't have any players. You don't have any quarterbacks. How come you don't have Brady Quinn? How come you don't have, I don't know, you got John Kitna. What's the deal? It's all my fault, man. It's not Mr. Clay's fault. It's nobody's fault but mine, man. It really is. It really is. It's just all my fault. Don't blame anybody, but it's all my fault. I'm looking forward to having that Culpepper guy. We're going to win a lot of games. It's going to be okay. Well, that's the story from Jimmy Dobson's Fire Truck Museum. Thanks for tuning in. Back to the studio.